Hey, hello everyone. My name is Sagar Pichapati and this video will be talking about how we can get a list of registered UDF function in Spark. Okay, so suppose you have a couple of UDF functions registered and you, you want to know whether the UDF function is already registered in the Spark session or not. Then how you can do that? Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a UDF function and then we will see whether it is present in the session or we can say yeah, whether it is present in the session or not. Right. So how we can do that? Cool. So let's get started. For that, what I'm going to do, I am just going to create a small function. Let's say dev get print get underscore print and it what it will do. It will just return not return. Let's say OK return hello hello geeks cool okay this is a function let me run it and now i need to register i need to register this function in the catalog correct so what we can do we just write here is spark dot udf dot registered right this is the syntax to register the function if you do not know then you can watch out my previous video i will give the link in the description so that you will you know directly jump to that video so spark.udf.register here we pass the name okay here we pass a name you can give another name also and here we pass the function okay let me just run it now you can see uh, this function get paint is registered in this spark catalog or we can see in spark session right now i want to know whether this function is present or not right so i can just write for i in and here i will use spark dot catalog dot list function okay l should be small and then functions functions cool and just print here i cool now you can see we have i mean uh, this function this things return uh, return name parameter at catalog catalog parameter name space and so on right so you can see you know all these functions are predefined right you can see we have a cosh abs and so on we have couple of functions in it right so you know and more about this you, you can see array overlap array union and so on so on so on cool which is which is already present uh, which is already present in the spark library right now i want to just know whether my function is present or not so this is my function right so here what i can do just write i dot name because you can see name defines the function name defines the function name so i am just checking here whether i dot name is equal to get my function name or not if it is then simply print simply print i so i will get all the information of my function you can see we have this name get pink catalog is none name space is none description any we did not define any any description over there class name is this you can see udf registered lambda and so on so on and then you can see this is temporary is equal to two so what does it mean is that if i just go here and detach and detach i mean if i refresh the session then this will remove from the session this will not come now see if i run it again then you can see we will not receive the function name here because this udf uh, udf is up to the session okay so if i want to use the udf again i have to i have to again register in the current session see now if i run this then you can see i will have the value okay so sometimes what happens you know we forgotten and we do not know whether we have this function already inbuilt or not right so in order to check it we can easily go and check uh, check with the help of this command cool so this is what 
I I hope that like, you have understood this concept and you also watch my different videos on database, PySpark, Python, SQL and so on. Okay, so chalo, let's chalo, let's stop this video and we will meet you in the next section. Bye bye.